Welcome back to Black News Tonight as we continue our coverage of stories making headlines across the black world. First up, one of Africa's most prominent leaders has tested positive for COVID-19. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa tested positive for COVID-19 over the weekend, and he's receiving treatment for mild symptoms. The 69-year-old leader received the single-dose Johnson & Johnson back vaccine back in February of this year. The South African president is encouraging residents to get vaccinated as the nation endures its fourth wave of COVID-19 following the recent detection of the Omicron variant. More than 90,000 South Africans in the nation have died from COVID-19. Meanwhile, officials in Ghana are now vaccinating returning travelers who have yet to be inoculated against COVID-19. Officials are also enforcing new travel restrictions, including possibly refusing entry to travelers who don't get fully vaccinated. We head over now to Europe as France announced its plans to unseal secret archives on the Algerian War of Independence. France plans to open classified files related to the Algerian War, unveiling judicial proceedings by the French police and military forces during the War of Independence from 1954 to 1962. The release of the files comes 15 years ahead of schedule. And reports say the records will reveal torture and extrajudicial killings by French officials in Algeria. In the early 1970s, Algeria became the home of revolutionaries from all over the world, including notable members of the Black Panther Party. Back in the Horn of Africa, reports say opposition forces from Tigray have recaptured a historic site in Ethiopia. Eyewitnesses report that the Tigray People's Liberation Front has seized control of the town of Lalabella in the Amhara region yet again. For millions of Ethiopian Orthodox Christians, Lalabella is a sacred site, and it's officially a United Nations World Heritage Site. The latest seizure of the town comes less than two weeks after the central government's forces and allies reclaimed Lalabella from rebels who took over in August of this year. Meanwhile, Rastafarian protesters demonstrated in front of the United States Embassy in Ligonea, Jamaica yesterday as they called out the U.S. for meddling in the year-long conflict between the Ethiopian government and rebels. 